Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic today is equipment qualification. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Check out the status bar below for our agenda. Stick around to the end for our bonus question. Our topic, equipment qualification, is covered by 1345 section 7.5.6. Equipment qualification in five words. Test equipment meets defined requirements. Equipment qualification, or EQ, is mainly used in the pharmaceutical industry and it's utilized to qualify test equipment. EQ itself consists of all of the validation steps that we've already discussed in previous videos. Design qualification, DQ. Installation qualification, IQ operational qualification, OQ, and in, in some rare instances, a performance qualification or a PQ, depending on what the test equipment is and how it's utilized. In the medical device space, I haven't seen EQ used very often. So the activities of an EQ are normally captured and executed within an IQ and an OQ. So how do I know this is working? Well, if my process requires me to do an EQ, I've defined the requirements for doing an EQ in my procedure. Second, when I do an EQ, I have a validation plan, I have an EQ plan, and then later I write a summary report based on the results. And then finally, if I have any deviations, I capture those deviations, I document, investigate, and then ultimately disposition them. So how do I know it's not working? First, I utilize EQ, it's part of my process, but it's not captured in the procedure. I don't have any forms, I don't have any templates. Second, when I go to do an EQ, I don't have a pre-approved protocol. And then I don't write a summary report afterwards. And then finally, I have deviations during my EQ that aren't documented, investigated, and dispositioned. And now for the three bonus questions. How do we qualify our test equipment? Can you explain the process to me? Second, when I want to purchase a new piece of a test equipment, how do I capture the user requirements for that piece of test equipment? And then finally, what procedure covers the qualification, the validation, the verification activities that we do when we want to install a new piece of test equipment? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to me at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Making quality systems simple for you.